Welcome back to American Agenda. New concerns about what may be a manipulative campaign strategy by Vice President Harris. It's time now for The Other View. Well, a new report by Axios suggesting the Harris campaign is looking to control the narrative. Surprise, surprise, rewriting news headlines in Google searches. Why not, right? The edited headlines make it seem like news outlets such as Reuters, USA Today, The Guardian, and many others are writing positive stories about Kamala Harris and her running mate. Now, the headlines come with a banner, a little one, that says they were paid for by the Harris campaign. You see a little sponsored note up there on the upper left. The campaign and Google say, hey, this is common practice. It doesn't violate any policies. The Guardian, among others, releasing a statement about the whole thing, saying, well, we understand why an organization might wish to align itself with the Guardian's trusted brand. We need to ensure it is being used appropriately and with our permission. We'll be reaching out to Google for more information about this practice. With me now, Newsmax contributor Deneen Borelli here in studio and also joining us is host of National Report, Emma Reckenberg. Emma, you're a journalist. If someone dives in and changes a headline, of something that either you wrote, maybe you didn't write, or even simply that is on, say, the Newsmax platform. Mm -hmm. Isn't that just a little suspicious? No permission. It just gets changed. I'm going to say it gets a nice little pretty spin put on it. Yeah. Uh, but no one's really upset about it. Yeah, um, which is unfortunate, of course. Look, I think it's it's manipulative, right? If you're just trying to get answers about who a candidate is and what their policies are, uh, you might look to an online news publication. And if you're seeing that it's so positive and favorable, but you missed the sponsored note, then you're probably getting you know information that fails to include um, other elements and other reporting that would give you the best informed decision. I will say that at least this one, there is a difference between sponsored and non-sponsored, mm -hmm. which really, she gets a lot of free good press that's that she point. doesn't have to pay for. It's like that Time point. Magazine article. No, that's, a, oh boy, that was that was, that was a, a very yeah. a gushy, gushy, gushy piece. Yep. Uh, but also it's interesting, Deneen, because I know we've talked about this before. It's now 24 days. We have not had a news conference for Harris. She has not sat down to talk to the press, nothing off the cuff. Here's what Democrat New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy thinks about it. I think she's had an extraordinary several weeks. Tim Waltz is an inspired pick. She's on a roll. Uh, she is, as, as he has said, she's brought joy back into the whole arena of politics. There'll be plenty of time to do interviews. All right, so Deneen, her campaign is definitely trying to control the narrative with those those Google ads. Yeah. Um, Democrats obviously saying, it, she's been really, really busy. Come on, she's running for president. Why would she possibly want to talk to the American people yeah. directly? Uh, she's just playing the press, isn't she? Well, look, they have this all coordinated here, and the press is all in, obviously, because where's the outrage from reporters who want to hear from her so that Americans know where she stands, not only the fact that she doesn't have anything on her website, but you go to look for certain information about her and it's scrubbed. It's totally mm -hmm. different. It's a total flip. And, and it's, you know, it's unfortunate because if you're a new voter or if you're a, a, like we're steeped in this, yeah. if right. you're not familiar with politics and who's supporting what, mm -hmm. and this is the propaganda you're going to get, you're not getting the truth. So it is manipulation and it's also control. We are well marinated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's not a lot of time either. No, like early no, voting is happening yeah, very soon. Right. So, right. so the interview now would be great. Yeah, and the contrast too is is we have Kamala Harris who will not do an interview, and former President Trump who he'll talk to anybody. anybody. He, excuse me, hey, you want to have a chat? Want to ask me right. a question? I'll answer it.